Hi, art scholars, it's Miss Alfaro. Today, we're going to see how artists discover simplicity as an art form in works which reflect the golden ratio. So excited. Come on, let's go. Fibonacci, also known as Leonardo Bonacci, Leonardo of Pisa, or Leonardo Bigelow Paisano, was an Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. Fibonacci traveled around the Mediterranean coast, meeting with many merchants and learning about the systems of doing arithmetic. In 1202, he completed the Liber Abaci, Book of Abacus, or the Book of Calculation. We can see the golden ratio in nature, including seashells like the nautilus, flowers, kinds of animals, even in human anatomy. The golden spiral is also applied in art and architecture. Examples of architecture are the Parthenon, the Notre Dame, Taj Mahal, the Great Pyramid of Giza, and the Guggenheim Museum. Probably the most famous artist to put the golden ratio to use is Leonardo da Vinci. The Last Supper, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, shows the use of the golden spiral. This painting has clear examples throughout the design and architecture. You know, art scholars, there is math in art. I'll try to explain. The golden ratio is a special number approximately equal to 1.618. It appears many times in geometry, art, architecture, and other areas. So the golden ratio exists when a line is divided in two parts and the longer part A is divided by the smaller part B is equal to the sum of A plus B divided B and what, what, which both equals what? I am so confused. I'm going to need some serious help. This is where we're going to go to the Teaching Engineering YouTube video. Oh, thank you for YouTube. Here's another amazing resource. During our Zoom meeting, we will discuss what you need and how to begin your study. Thank you so much for watching this presentation and I look forward to working on this study with you.